What's up and welcome back. This is part two of the Gretsch 4301 snare drum build. If you've caught part one, then you know we're down to the bare shell and almost ready to get everything put back together. First things first, let's get this package open from Reach and see what we got inside. Drum roll please. And we have a custom ass wrap and an orange fur mod finish. Just kidding, that's Mr. Grubbs wanting to know what's going on. And finally, underneath all of this bubble wrap, we have a white marine pearl wrap. After looking up some photos, I chose this and I feel like it'll bring back that vintage vibe to the drum. But before we can get to installing the wrap, I need to do a few more things to get this shell ready, so follow along with me in the process. It's time to clean up these bearing edges. Simply using a few different grits of sandpaper, I carefully work my way around the edges and smooth out any rough spots. Not wanting to change the overall profile of the edge, but just to knock back some of that old dry and brittle wood to get to the good stuff. After getting the edges up to par, I then take some of the dust from doing so to mix with a little bit of glue to plug up some of the holes where the old butt plate went. I start by backing the holes on the inside of the shell with some tape, then filling with dust before applying a little bit of glue. A little bit of dust, a little bit of glue. A little bit of dust, a little bit of glue. You get the idea. Using the dust first helps the glue to not stick to the tape on the inside of the shell. So remove the tape and repeat on the inside until the hole is filled completely. Setting the shell aside to dry for a while, I shift my focus to cleaning up all the lugs and the other hardware that are going to be going back onto the drum. And like always, using some of my homemade but store-bought secret sauce, I simply mix it, apply it, and buff it. Sometimes I like to use a rotary tool with a little polish wheel to do this, but you can already see just by hand, these are already starting to clean up pretty well. For stubborn stuck on gunk or stuff that's down deep in cracks, I like to use a razor blade to loosen it and then go back with some steel wool to scrub and finish by polishing.
Now that everything is clean and ready to go back on, I can almost start wrapping up this project. But first, the nightmare of getting this old adhesive off the shell. I first tried the Goo Gone and Razor method to get the bulk of it off, or so I thought. I figured a quick run of some heavy duty sandpaper would help, but I was sadly mistaken. And at this point I was starting to get flashbacks of the last Gretsch project that I did. So it was back to the razor blade and goo gone method to get this finished up. And after about an hour, I was satisfied with it. So it was now time to wrap it up. It being a five and a quarter inch deep shell, I measured the wrap to five inches and I cut. And since I have a ton of this contact cement left over from my last project, I'm going to use it to adhere the wrap to the shell using the same method as I did in my last video on the Ludwig kit. I apply a thin, even layer to the wrap as well as the shell and let it dry or tacky to the touch for about 10 to 15 minutes before placing it on. I then begin to apply the wrap. Working in spaces, maybe lug between lug, I make sure it's really pressed on before going around to the next little space. working my way around the entire shell and also gluing and letting it dry for a bit at the seam. I then take a razor and clean up the wrap near the edges to expose the edge more to make sure I get a good head to wood contact and that the collar doesn't interfere with the wrap in the future. You can also use a file to feather it into the edges around the bearing edge. Um, this is just my method of doing it. Last but not least, before final assembly, I need to drill out the wrap to receive the lugs and the hardware. To do that, I will use a drill bit that matches the size of the holes and go from the inside of the shell out. 
Also using a scrap piece of wood as a backer to prevent tear out or damage to the wrap. Then taking a step bit to clean it all up. With that done, it's time to cotton pack these lugs to reduce spring vibration and install them. First by hand, then I use a screwdriver to snug everything up. Just like so, and I'm going to repeat the process for the rest, and I'll check back when I'm done. And just like that, the lugs are on, so now it's time for the other stuff. We have the vent hole. the dampener or tone control, and another vent hole that I just happened to have laying around to fill in the space where the badge had originally went. As far as the throw off and the butt plate go, I didn't really want to use these ones again and the ones that I had ordered never showed up after about a week and destroying my storage room completely to no avail. I was to the point of having to rob Peter to pay Paul and I have a perfect candidate for the donation. After getting those installed, it was a quick shopping trip around the drum room to grab some heads, snare wires, and lug locks. And now it's really time to complete this project.
there you have it. The Gretsch 4301 snare drum project is complete and back to playable condition, saving yet another drum from the landfill and filling your ear holes and eyes with vintage drum joy. Thank you for watching. Do me a favor, hit that like and subscribe, even tell a friend. And until next time, drums, drums, drums.